Hello, all you positive heads out there. It's so good to be back with all you beautiful reflections of the one source consciousness that creates and animates all things. If you're new to this podcast, of course, we are super happy to have you here, and we just ask that you bring an open mind and heart to your listening experience and to be prepared to explore vantage points that I'm convinced will help shift or solidify your current understanding of the ultimate nature of reality. While listening, you'll be exposed to inspiring, empowering, and unifying perspectives that I'm highly confident will yield stellar results in your life if you opt to try them on for size. Also, at Optimistic.tv, we have officially begun releasing the first few episodes of our new late-night-style, consciousness-elevating video variety talk show, Optimistic, which features live visionary art, soul-share interviews, retreat guests here at the Mystic Manor, as well as live musical performances. I'm also super excited to announce that we are currently making plans to release the rest of season one on my personal favorite online streaming service. So stay tuned to optimistic.tv to follow the unfolding development of this exciting optimistic expansion as we'll be posting more info and release dates there soon. And in the meantime, be sure to check out, of course, the first few episodes at optimistic.tv as well. All right, all you positive heads, welcome. Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. It is such a beautiful, beautiful time in the world right now, isn't it? You might not think so. You might feel like everything's a little off kilter. But this is such a beautiful and magical time. What I'm seeing right now in the world is the collective rising up rising up in vibration. It seems to me that no matter what a person's political opinion is at this moment, that regardless of that, their intentions are good. All people, and this is my true belief, that all people just want to live happy, healthy lives with their families and friends. And I think that that is what everyone's intention is in the collective. So regardless of where you stand right now in your political viewpoints, it almost doesn't matter. And I'll tell you why. Because our collective's intention on the whole is for love and for good. And that is what always wins. Love and the greater good, the good of all. And so what I literally see and feel happening is that this collective intention, the energy of this is so strong and it's going to help to transmute everything that's going on. And that is so beautiful. And kind of like I said at the end of Tuesday's episode with Samantha, this archetype of Mr. Rogers that can be our leader. And regardless of who it is, like anybody can transmute and evolve and become a better person. And that can happen with the help of our collective intention. So I think this is, again, such a beautiful, beautiful time. And I just want to put that reminder out there that it is up to us and it is up to us to stay centered in our hearts and always focus on love because we are creating what is going on in our world. We get to decide. It's such, such a beautiful thing. So today, what I would like to actually talk about is the Emerald Tablet. And I'm not sure if you guys have ever heard of the Emerald Tablets of Thoth, but I got into a conversation, I don't know, a little while ago about this and I got very curious. Well, I know of the Emerald Tablet of Hermes, but the Emerald Tablets of Thoth, yeah, I've heard of this, but I haven't seen them in any of the ancient literature that I've read and I've researched a lot of alchemy and and I've... I've never heard that referenced, right? Just the single emerald tablet. 
And so I wanted to delve into that a little bit and research it because I find this very, very interesting. And what I found out is that there is only one emerald tablet, the emerald tablet of Hermes. The emerald tablets was something that was essentially made up. And I found this really, really great article that I'm going to share with you about this because, you know, I find this really interesting. There are so many of us that are trying to learn and find information and there's so much information out there. And how do we decide what's right? What's wrong? There is no right and wrong. You know, we're going to be guided to what is right for us in that moment, of course. But when I read things, I like to look at it and say, okay, who, who wrote this? Meaning what kind of experience do they have? And then where is this information from? And then I like to go to that source of information and look into it a little bit more. And that's what leads me to read all of the ancient texts that I do, because these are the original sources. And I find that there's a lot of, um, disjointedness out there on the internet. You know, when you look for things, there's, there's lots of different kinds of information. And when you go back to the ancients and you go back to the original sources, it's all, all very clear. So let's get into a little bit of what this article says. And then I'm going to read to you what the actual Emerald tablet says. So I'm not going to read the article. I'm just going to go through it a little bit, but I will put the link for it in the show notes. If you want to check it out for yourself, it's from a website called Adept Initiates. And the beginning of the article goes like this. Would you believe me if I told you the Emerald Tablets of Thoth were not written by the Atlantean priest king and the Emerald Tablets were not discovered inside the pyramid? They do not date back to some 36,000 years BC. In fact, they do not even exist. So he goes on to say that everything that we've been told about the Emerald Tablets is deceptive, which he says is very interesting because the very first line of the actual Emerald Tablet talks about what is truth, like the ultimate truth. And so he says that these Emerald Tablets, plural, are a source of confusion, Whereas the Emerald Tablet of Alchemy is a source of creation, a creation within ourselves of building our own light, our own alchemical gold. This is the recipe for the process of how you do that written on the Emerald Tablet. And to have something come in and confuse that is disconcerting. You know, to me, I see a lot of this happening in, um, in the world now and in different communities, right? Just confusion coming in and kind of upsetting the balance. And while I think that it's important to have it so we can make our own discernments, I also think it's important to point it out so that we are aware that it is there and we know to look for it so that we can better make our discernments and, and learn for ourselves in the most effective way possible. Because isn't that what it's all about, right? We don't want to continue this process and stay on the wheel forever experiencing the same things we want to learn. And we want to be able to rise up to the next level. And that's what we are doing now. So I think that this is such a great time to talk about this. And so just a little bit more about what he said about the author of these emerald tablets. He says that, in reading the preface of the Emerald Tablets of Thoth, he learned that the author allegedly had a connection to the Great White Lodge, which also works through the Pyramid Priesthood. And so when he did some research on that, he found that the lodge existed at a headquarters in Colorado called Shambhala Ashrama. And so he decided to look into it a little bit. And he actually went to visit there, but couldn't get in and because they don't take unsolicited visitors. But what he did find out was that 
this man who wrote this book, his name was Daryl, and that was his actual pen name. His real name was something else. And this lodge he had created and was actually the president of. So essentially, he claimed that this lodge granted him permission to release the contents of these emerald tablets. He had found them. He said he had found them in the pyramids and then had translated them and then returned them and had permission to release the contents from this lodge. And it turns out that he's the president of the lodge. So he gave himself permission and essentially fabricated this entire thing just to confuse everyone, just to make some money, just to, I don't know what people's motivations are. Um, but I do find it very, very interesting. And the positive aspect of all of that is that what he did was actually bring awareness to the real Emerald tablet, which is beautiful. And that's the true information. And that's where we really want to go. And that's where we're going to go right now. So I'm going to read you a couple different translations because there have been many and it might be more than a couple because I might have a hard time picking, but the Emerald tablet is written in 14 lines and there's a couple different translations that have a line before the first line, which is line zero. And one of these is translated from Sigismund Backstrom and it's allegedly translated from Chaldean. It goes like this. The secret works of Cherim one in essence, but three in aspect. It is true, no lie, certain and to be depended upon that superior agrees with the inferior and the inferior agrees with the superior to effect that one truly wonderful work. As all things owe their existence to the will of the only one, so all things owe their origin to the only one thing, the most hidden by the arrangement of the only God. The father of that one only thing is the sun, its mother is the moon. The wind carries it in its belly, but its nurse is a spirituous earth. That one only thing is the father of all things in the universe. Its power is perfect after it has been unified with a spirituous earth. Separate that spirituous earth from the dense or crude by means of a gentle heat with much attention. In great measure, it ascends from the earth up to heaven and descends again, newborn on the earth, and the superior and the inferior are increased in power. By this wilt thou partake of the honors of the whole world, and darkness will fly from thee. This is the strength of all powers. With this, thou wilt be able to overcome all things and transmute all what is fine and what is coarse. In this manner, the world was created. The arrangements to follow this road are hidden. For this reason, I am called Chiram Talat Mikasat, in one essence, but three in aspect. In this trinity is hidden the wisdom of the whole world. It is ended now what I have said concerning the effects of the sun. Finish of the tabula smagaragdina. Who knows if I said that properly, tabula smagaragdina, the Chaldean translation of the emerald tablet. And from Madame Blavatsky, what is below is like that which is above, and what is above is similar to that which is below, to accomplish the wonders of the one thing. As all things were produced by the meditation of one being, so all things were produced from this one by adaption. Its father is the sun, its mother the moon. It is the cause of all perfection throughout the whole earth. Its power is perfect if it is changed into earth. Separate the earth from the fire, the subtle from the gross, acting prudently and with judgment. Ascend with the greatest sagacy from earth to heaven and unite together the power of things inferior and superior. Thus, you will possess the light of the whole world and obscurity will fly away from you. This thing 
has more fortitude than fortitude itself because it will overcome every subtle thing and penetrate every solid thing. By it, the world was formed. Before we continue on with today's episode, I'd like to take a quick moment to share a perfect gift idea for the upcoming holiday season, Feature Socks. If you pay attention when you watch any of the episodes of my variety show Optimistic, you'll notice that I typically take my shoes off at some point during the interview portion and it quickly becomes very obvious I'm a huge fan of fun, funky, colorful socks. So when Features originally reached out to me, I was super excited because I instantly loved the way they looked, but after actually wearing them, I realized there is a very good reason runners and golfers are increasingly making Features their sock of choice above and beyond their excellent style. Features have been engineered with targeted compression and an excellent design that keep them from bunching, slipping, and sliding into your shoe. I love the unique cut of the Elite Golf Socks and the anatomical design of all their styles because they actually conform to the left and right shape of your feet, creating an enhanced, custom-like fit that reduces discomfort and prevents blisters. They're also so durable and long-lasting that if you're unsatisfied at any point, they'll give you a replacement pair, no questions asked, for lifetime guarantee. And I can guarantee if you guys take advantage of the $10 off offer on your first pair at features.com when you use the code positive head that they will help make someone's holiday season merry and bright to be sure. Once again, that is features spelled F E E T U R E S dot com promo code positive head all one word to receive $10 off your first pair. And as you can see, those two different translations are very similar, but also very different depending on the time in which they were translated. And so I said I was only going to read two, but there's another one from Falconelli. This is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. As above, so below, and as above, so below. With this knowledge alone, you may work miracles. And since all things exist in and emanate from the one who is the ultimate cause, so all things are born after their kind from this one. The sun is the father, the moon the mother, the wind carried it in its belly. Earth is its nurse and its guardian. It is the father of all things. The eternal will is contained in it. Here on earth, its strength, its power remain one and undivided. Earth must be separated from fire, the subtle from the dense, gently with unremitting care. It arises from the earth and descends from heaven. It gathers to itself the strength of things above and the things below. By means of this one thing, all the glory of the world shall be yours and all obscurity flee from you. It is power, strong with the strength of all power, for it will penetrate all mysteries and dispel all ignorance. By it, the world was created. From it are born manifold wonders, the means to achieving which are here given. It is for this reason that I am called Hermes Trismegistus, for I possess the three essentials of the philosophy of the universe. This is the sum total of the work of the sun." And there you have it, three different translations of the Emerald Tablet, all giving you a different idea of what it says. And what I love about this is that it really does contain all of the secrets to how we can transmute ourselves, to how we can combine our divine essences, our feminine our masculine. It's all symbolic and it's all there for you to understand when you, I, we are ready to understand it. There's so much there. And what I love about this is that it's really so simple. It looks like it's so difficult to understand, but I've been reading some of the old works of Paracelsus and one of the 
the books I read was the Colium Philosophorum. And in it, he says, if the true process shall have been found, the substance itself while transmuting approaches daily more and more towards perfection. The straight road is easy, but it is found by very few. And I'm seeing him say this over and over again, how simple it really is and how overcomplicated we are really making things out to be. This is essentially a recipe of how we can honor these aspects within ourselves and recognize our power and the light and the love that we are made of. This tablet says it very, very clearly. That is above is like that which is below. That is below is like that which is above. We are all one and the same, all created from the same, the one, the whole. There is nothing else. And the minute we recognize that within ourselves and burn away all of those things that are tying us down, all of those things that are not resonant with the pure love that we are, and we burn those away and we recognize what we truly are, we become pure gold. And so... I would love to encourage all of you to close your eyes right now for a moment and just take a deep breath. And in that breath, I want you to pull in and imagine the intense love and light that is already present within every single one of your cells. And with that breath, it just shines brighter for you to see it. This is what you are made of, pure, infinite love. This is your power. This is how we are going to change the world. By alchemizing ourselves, uniting these parts of ourselves, understanding them, recognizing them, and loving them. Because what else is there but love? And we can do that. I love you all so, so much. I'm going to leave you with a song. This is Dea Dova, Voices in the Stone. Until next time, love you all. Also, before we queue up today's song, I wanted to remind you about the Game with the Universe on our website where you can choose the first number that comes to your mind and it'll pull up that episode number of the podcast. I've been saying this is a great way to co-create synchronicity and magic with your higher self for quite some time. And if you go to positivehead.com forward slash universe, there is a super fun and simple interface to play this game with your higher self. I firmly believe just by setting the intention to play in this way, it opens up the door for magic and it's a synchronistic way to hone in on nuggets of wisdom out of the huge catalog of episodes that are specifically appropriate for you at this time in your journey to becoming the next greatest and greatest version of yourself. And it also makes for a super fun way to spark the curiosity of friends and family by having them choose a number. So they'll hopefully go and check out their number as well, which I greatly appreciate because it helps us to spread the word about the podcast. Once again, the address is positivehead.com forward slash universe. And as a quick reminder, if you're curious to learn more about Purium Superfoods and why I take them almost every day, be sure to also check out positivehead.com forward slash transformation. On this journey of becoming the next greatest and grandest version of ourselves that we have all embarked upon, I cannot stress the importance of managing your physical vibration enough. And quite honestly, Purium has put together the simplest plan I've found to do so. I have my favorite, the Appleberry Shake, at least five times a week. Once again, to learn more about the Perium Transformation, go to positivehead.com forward slash transformation. Or if you want to keep it simple and just try out my favorite, the Appleberry Shake, you can go straight over to ishoppurium.com and be sure to use code POSITIVEHEAD for 25% off. I'll spell that for you. It's I-S-H-O-P-P-U-R-I-U-M.com. And be sure to use your Positive Head 25% coupon code.
ですね。